Hi, I'm Megan, and today we're here with Becky, who is a CBT and BTS in clinical practice, and we're visiting Rose City Veterinary Hospital, and today Becky is going to talk about vaccinating this puppy. So this is Hilo, and he belongs to um, one of our receptionists here, and he's in the middle of his puppy series. So he is due for his um, third DAP, his distemper parvo ad adenovirus vaccine, and his Bordetella. So those are two that we will give together. Um, and then he'll come back in three weeks and he'll get his rabies so we can break all of those up. So um, for vaccines, the distemper vaccine is gonna go on the right shoulder. The Bordetella vaccine goes in the left shoulder, so on the opposite side. And then um, if we were vaccinating for rabies, it would be the right rear. And then lepto goes in the left rear. So four different spots for four different vaccines. So we're not putting them all together. Um, so for him, I'm gonna draw up his Bordetella and his Distemper Parvo. And um, we give the Bordetella last because the injectable one can sting. So it's not, it's not uncommon for them to cry a little bit um, or even start scratching at that area because it stings a little bit. So what we'll do first is we'll draw up the DAP vaccine. Because this is freeze dried, we have to mix it up and you only use the diluent that comes with it from the manufacturer. So <laughs> draw up all of the diluent, which is about one mil, and then inject that right into the other vial. And then just mixing this up because you want all of this to be dissolved before you draw it back up into your syringe. So there's no clumps in there. And then for this, you're just drawing this right back up. And then we do always change the needle. And he's such a little guy that we're gonna go with a 25 gauge needle. And then I'm gonna go ahead and draw up the Bordetella as well so that we have both of them ready. And because these little labels peel right off, if we're giving more than one vaccine, we'll just peel it off and put it right on there so we remember which one is which. And then the Bordetella, the injectable one, does not have to be mixed whereas the intranasal one does. So again, same thing. We are just gonna draw this right up and then change the needle again. And then I'm gonna put the label back on the syringe just because we have to take his temperature still so that nothing gets confused. And then because he's current on his, his exam, all he needs is just a tech appointment with a vaccine. So we're just gonna take his temperature, make sure he doesn't have any kind of fever. So we'll see if Megan can restrain this baby. <laughs> and then I'm sorry, oh my goodness, you're such a good boy. So temp is 101.6, so we are done with that. And then with the puppies, what we try to do is give them a food distraction or treat distraction because every time they come in here as a puppy, they're getting poked. And so we're trying not to make them associate us with bad things that happen. So what he gets is he's gonna get a little bit of Kong paste on a little tongue depressor, and hopefully that will distract him long enough. So what we'll start with is the DAP. Hi buddy, you wanna focus on that? And we're gonna go on this side, just a little bit lower than his shoulder, and hopefully he won't jump. Good job, and then we're drawing back and injecting, and this is not the one that stings. Good job, and that is it for that one. So now we're gonna do the Bordetella, and we're gonna be on the other side. So Megan's still distracting him, and all the vaccines go sub-Q, and we're just going a little bit lower than his shoulder area. Oh, good boy, and then he might cry because this is the stingy one, or he's gonna be super brave. And he was so brave. And that's Bordetella and DAP and a puppy. One veterinary website with everything you need. Check it out on atdove.org.